Hey there, it's Jason here from One Hour Forex, and today is April 10th, 2012. And I just want to say I uh, hope everybody had a happy uh, Easter holiday and hopefully didn't eat too many chocolates because that sugar can be known as death in disguise. <laughs> okay, but it's fun for the kids to eat them. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're looking at the setups here, and uh, it is uh, 2 o'clock a.m. right here on this candle. This is our 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and our 4 o'clock, which covers our UK session, okay? So basically, we opened up right there, okay? We went up, we missed it bouncing off of here by three and a half pips, which is good enough. Created the wick we wanted to see, came back down and turned red. So let's move the line. Come on. There we go. Cooperate with me um, on there, and let's go see back in time if it, it indeed was a trade. Looks like it was to me. It basically opened up. Went up, came back down, turned red. Your stop would have been up here somewhere, okay? Or even maybe up here. So it did trigger within the first few minutes. Um, came down, went up, and closed down on the hour, okay? It hit our target right here, okay? So that was a winner of 28 pips. Thank you very much. Minus the spread, so maybe anywhere from 27 pips to 26 pips, depending on your broker. Okay, but it definitely got filled, okay? It went through the uh, pivot level and filled our, our trade. Okay, so let's take a look now again. Now the next trade um, would have been, it opened up, went up, came back down, turned red, and came down. So let's check that one. Okay, we'll go there, we'll check it. Okay, right here. Okay, so let's see. Oh, don't do that to me. Come on, come on. Okay. Opened up. Uh, came up. Hold on here. Yes, that's right. It opened up here. It went up. It came back down. Okay. It came back down from, it closed up here, came back down. We would have got short right here underneath the pivot by a pip or underneath this pre previous low because it doesn't show the wick here in the 15 minute, but there is a big wick right here, okay, when we go on the hourly. See, here's the wick, okay, so you would have got short right there. Our target would have been S1, okay, which never hit it. Our target was 34 pips away, but what we did accomplish out of this trade was we got 16 pips, so we definitely hit 50% of our target, which was 34, or well, 36 now, so that would be uh, 18 pips. No, it almost hit half, of, you know, 50% of our target, so we would have maybe not locked in the, you know, the stop or moved, this, moved our stop from up here to break even or whatever. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I don't know. Maybe it took some pips on it and you got out on the close. I don't know. Whatever you did. But anyway, there was a trade there and uh, it netted a few pips if you were able to take them. And if it didn't, well, then if you held on to it and you still had your stop on there, you know, it eventually came down lower, but it took about three more hours to do so. So anyway, now let's take a look in, uh, now the, hold on, no, there, there was the, the four o'clock candle here. Now, there, I do not believe there was a trade on here because if it opened up, came down, created a double bottom fake out, it was only seven pips from the entry to our target. Uh, there's one person who emailed me and say, was asking me about 10 pips, and I was saying, if you would have listened to the video, it says in my videos that in order for a trade to be valid, you need 10 pips from your entry to the nearest target. And what is our targets? Well, it's the pivot point level, 
It's 3100, it's R1, R2, R3. All these lines in the chart with the two indicators that you'll have, those are our targets. So you need 10 pips from the entry to a target to make it a valid trade signal. Okay, so anyway, there was no trade on 4 o'clock. So let's look at uh, the U.S. session now. Here's our 8 o'clock candle right here. Um, it didn't, didn't create a long enough wick if it would have came down. You know, a couple pips through the pivot, then came up and turned blue. Okay, but still there was no trade because 31 was only 7 pips away. There was no trade on that candle. Now on the on the 9 o'clock candle, there was no trade on that candle either. It would have had to open up up here where it opened up, con up to the, to the R1, then come back and turn red, which it did not do that. So there was no trade on that one either. Okay, then... On the 10 o'clock candle, it doesn't look like there was a trade on there either because it opened up, you know, it went up to here. It didn't come off really any trend line. Maybe it did, but even if it did, you know, um, it was right there at the pivot where you would have took it short. Let's just take a look and see. I don't think there was a trade there, but we'll go take a look and see. Okay, here we go. Right here, see? Opened up. When it came back down, it was basically, in the last 15 minutes, there was no trade. Okay? Here's the opening. Second candle, third candle, fourth candle. There was no trade. Okay. So, basically, that is it for the setups for today. We had one uh, nice winner right here. Okay? Had another trade here. And uh, that's basically it. So, anyway, thanks for uh, watching the video today. And we'll see you tomorrow.